What's up everyone? This is Bill with BLR Tuning. Today's watch is a yellow gold pro diver with the mother of pearl inlay. Really nice, heavy, flashy watch. Really cool collector's piece. Anyway, today we got a little video for you guys. We're going to be installing the Dynojet WB2. This is wideband with auto-tune on the Kawasaki ZH2. So this is our, our bike out here is the 2023 ZH2 SE. Uh, we do have a Power Commander 6 on it. We did an install video for that. You'll see a description or a link in the description below. All this can be found on our website, blrtuning.co. So this is going to be WB2. You will be able to grab this with the AFR gauge and the mounting bracket for the ZH2 with the gauge pod and the PC6. So you'll see lots of options for the WB2. Or you can order the WB2 by itself, either way. So I'm going to crack this box open, show you guys what all comes in the box. And then we will walk out to the ZH2. Uh, we'll be tearing some stuff apart on it. I do have a video in the description below that shows you how to tear the bike down. So if you're unfamiliar with it, I did a whole video on just tearing down the ZH2. Okay, so that'll get you to where the gas tank's off of it and everything. So if you're doing your Power Commander install and your WB2, you'll, you'll need to follow that video and then come back over here. Um, this will give you, getting the tank off will give you some better room to run your wideband six wire Bosch O2 sensor that comes in this box. Okay, so you will need to head over and watch that video. So we can get this guy out of here. I'll show you what all it comes with. It is part number. 15-7023 this is for any EFI motorcycle that's using Power Commander 5 or Power Commander 6 that uses a single uh, O2 sensor so this is a single channel okay so of course you have your WB2 here you get some wires coming off of it here okay and then you have this little green wire this is for your narrow band signal wire that would go from your factory o2 sensor on this install we will not be using this because we will be leaving the factory o2 sensor installed for now and then you have a plug here for an afr gauge which we will be running on this bike then of course you have your six wire bosch o2 sensor remember o2 sensors are delicate don't drop them don't bang them around if you banged it up against something by accident and you thought that you did you probably did and then you power up the bike and something ain't working Probably because you destroyed the O2 sensor. Okay, happens all the time. Be careful with them. Delicate little guy. Okay, and it does have a big old plug. It's got all kinds of different mounting options on there. You can throw a zip tie through that hole. You can feed it through a plug. You can cut these off if you don't need them. Uh, this little piece here on the back will stay on there. Don't need to mess with that. It plugs in. Here is our plug for it. It plugs in as such. Okay, it does have a little guide right there. Boom, snap it all the way down, okay? Okay, so that's how that goes. So there's your Bosch O2 sensor. Here's your six wire wideband connection that goes up to the WB2. You'll see you have little flathead holes that are color coded. They poke, these wires are tinned at the end, which means they have solder on them already. So they are hard and will not bend and fray. They poke through each one of those holes according to the colors matched up with the colors here so white to white gray to gray black yellow red blue etc okay you get the idea those need to plug in after you run your wiring this will go down to your o2 sensor depending on where you have it on the bike your install may be different okay then you have this wire here this can obviously plug into here there's lots of different functions okay we'll cover and we'll it does have instructions if it doesn't come in the box, you can go print them out on the DinoJet website. You'll find a little QR code there that you can scan with your smartphone camera, and it will take you to the install video. Okay. Then you do have a little CAN bus cable. This goes from one of these plugs here to your PC6. Okay. Or PC5 if you had a PC5, depending on what bike you're installing on or, or what device you're using. But the CAN bus cable is how... The power commander talks to the wideband. Okay, and then obviously you get some little tap it screws, Velcro to stick it down, these little rubber boots that will go over your little holes back here. 
once you're done tightening everything down and then you'll plug the one that you're not using right there okay you got some zip ties in there little connector so everything is covered in the instructions so just keep that in mind obviously you got some stickers if you order through us you'll get some stickers from us as well okay now if you are ordering this for the ZH2 with the AFR gauge setup, we will include the AFR gauge cable. So you'll see an option to grab the cable and the AFR gauge, all that stuff, okay? Because there is a cable that plugs into the back of the DinoJet AFR gauge. We have a used one here. So there's a little square plug back here that has to be plugged in, okay? And that will plug into the AFR signal up here. Okay, so we'll walk you through the install. Uh, the one that we're installing on the bike itself is an older one that we had here in the shop. Um, it's been used on many different bikes. So it's not gonna look all nice and precious like this guy, brand new. But you get the idea. Process, still the same, no different. So don't be alarmed when you see a different one in the video when we're filming the install. Okay, same process, still a WB2, wideband with auto-tune with a six wire Bosch O2 sensor. And we'll show you where we tapped into for power and all that, we'll cover all that in the install. Okay, again, you will see all this on our website, blrtuning.co. So we'll head out to the bike real quick. I'll show you how the AFR gauge setup is. So if you end up going with the AFR gauge setup, you can see how that goes. And then there is a uh, install video specifically for that. Uh, we'll throw it in here in this video so you can kind of see how we did the AFR gauge so if you have that but there's also a complete detailed video um, I'll link that in the description below as well and again all this stuff can be bought separately on our website as well so let's head out to the bike real quick okay so here's our ZH2 so that your AFR gauge the bracket sits you take the windscreen off undo the two bolts in the back up on top here of the uh, display those are five mil these are four mil so six bolts in total then our AFR gauge sits down on there you're gonna use the studs over here so we have the studs installed on there and then some blue Loctite on these nuts clamping that down and then our bar sits across so it looks like that okay and then we put our stock factory bolts back in an option to mon to monitor our AFR okay so let's move on to the install okay guys so the first part of installing your WB2 obviously you're gonna have to use the included Bosch O2 sensor that is a six wire Bosch O2 sensor that comes in the box and then it has a harness close to it which is this black guy sitting right here and then the gray plug that guy right there, or well, it's black with a gray locking mechanism. That guy is gonna be your six wire, okay? So you'll need to install that on the ZH2. We're using this Brox Performance uh, pentacarbon exhaust system, and it has an O2 bung already right there, okay? So that's what we're using. And then we're just gonna come up right between the shock It'll get plugged in right in here and zip tied out of the way. It comes in through the box right here. So this is our six wire and we will run it up the right hand side of the bike back here to where our wide band is gonna be living. And then the other thing that we're doing right here while we have the bike all apart like this is the AFR gauge that is this wire, this white plug here. We are running it up. We're gonna zip tie it along here. And we're gonna run it just on the other side here. You can see this is all part of our PC6 wires. So we're gonna run it up there with that and get it up here. 
and that is because we are going to be running our AFR gauge, which is going to live somewhere like right in here. That's what we want to get to here. So we need to run all that while we have the bike apart. And we'll come back here and show you the rest of the install here in a minute. Let me get this stuff all buttoned up and zip tied up out of the way. Okay, so just keep in mind this install, like I said, I have that teardown video. You can watch if you need to tear it down. For the wideband, it's, a lot of it is going to depend on where your wideband O2 sensor is going to live. Some exhaust might have it up this way more. Some exhausts have it way back here. In our case, with this Brock's performance exhaust, we're able to just run it straight down through the hole in the tray. And then we have everything zip tied up out of the way so it's not going to interfere with our suspension or anything like that. Okay. And then we have to take the tank off because that's where we're running that wire, but also because we're going to run the AFR gauge. If you're not running the AFR gauge, then you wouldn't worry, be worried about this wire here. Um, remember, wideband can also be, this wideband module can also be used for auto tune. And then it can also be seen if you're using something like a Pod 300 digital display. You'll have settings from the wideband. And then it also has its green wire, which is capable of running the factory O2 uh, sensor uh, wire. So there's a lot that it can do. I have several videos showing all what all it can do. This is mainly just the install, but our AFR gauge wire is not quite long enough to do what we want to do. It is, but so what you're going to need to do is when you put your tank back on, tuck all this stuff up then. We want to have it as long as possible and we're gonna follow our factory routing for our wires. You can see here, because we want our AFR gauge somewhere in the ballpark of right up in here. Okay, that is the plan, or if that is what you're gonna do, then that is what you'll need to do, and this will make it so this will turn along with the rest of these wires, so we can go full lock both directions without pinching anything or tugging on anything. Okay, so at this point, we can put the bike back together. Uh, we would be done with our install as far as tearing it all apart. We would then jump back here and we'll go over all that stuff. Okay, so let me get the tank back on, plastics back on and whatnot, and then we'll come back here. Okay guys, so on your WB2, your wide band, you seen how we ran the AFR gauge connector all the way up here, okay? We have it tucked out of our way. Power, and obviously this wideband, we use this a lot. We showed a, showed you a new one down at the beginning of the video, but this one gets used, has gotten used on a few different bikes, so don't mind its condition. It still functions exactly the same. So that is our AFR gauge connector right there. You won't use it if you're not using one. These wires, analog, won't get used, okay? You can tape them up, zip tie them out of the way. Green wire, that is to go to the signal wire from the factory O2 sensor if you're gonna run it that way, okay? I have another video, I'll put it in the link in the description below that explains that. On this scenario, we won't be using that, we're using a factory O2 sensor. Our black wires go to ground, so this is gonna go up to our battery. Our power wire, this red power wire, okay? We have to have power to this guy. On, on your ZH2, the rear uh, license plate light has 12 volts when you turn the key on. And that's what we need. And that is this plug. It'll be in a rubber boot back here. It's in a little black rubber boot tucked back there, okay? Okay. The blue wire coming off of it, you kind of see it there. Well, it's a yellow wire with a blue stripe. Could be green. But the black wire is the ground. You see that? The black one with the stripe on it, that's the ground. The other wire there, yellow and blue, that is our positive. So, you could tap into that right there on the back side of this. And then that will be your positive connection for your wideband. 
So in this case, it's this red wire right here. Okay. So that's what we're going to use. And that'll give us constant power when the key is on. When the key is off, wideband is powered off. Okay. And then obviously, you see the colors there. That is for your six wire Bosch O2 sensor. Okay. You'll poke those in through the holes, use the little flathead screws and screw it down tight. Okay. Give each one a little bit of a tug, make sure that's connected. That'll be for your wideband O2 sensor. Okay. So let's get this all wired up. It'll be sitting back here with our power commander all nice and pretty. And we'll get all this wiring tucked out of the way. Okay guys, we got the bike all buttoned back up. All you gotta do is put our seats on. Um, so as you can see, we have our Power Commander 6 back here, our Wideband back here. Don't forget you need that CAN bus cable that comes in the kit, connected to a CAN bus port on the PC6, and then use the little rubber plugs to plug the holes that are not getting used. Remember to color code these. Put your little rubber cap back on the bottom. That is for your Wideband O2 sensor. And then we will have a AFR gauge and you'll also find an, the, or the AFR gauge and you'll also find a mounting system for the AFR gauge to go onto the ZH2. We're gonna try to come up with some universal stuff as well. But, so you can see here when I power it on, there we go. That beeping you heard, that is our, our, our gauge coming on. This is just an old one that we had here in the shop. We just have it sitting up here so we can show you on camera. We don't have the brand new one out of the box yet. Okay, so we can see that wideband is working. You gotta give it a minute, get some heat in it, and then it'll come up. There it goes there. So that is reading actual AFR from the exhaust. Okay. So our wideband is working. We can now use that to auto-tune. We can set up auto-tune and go ride the bike, come back, accept the trims from auto-tune to get to a desired AFR if we think it's running too lean. Anyways, guys, that wraps up the video. Okay, remember you can go find WB2, PC6, AFR gauge, all that stuff available on our website. It's blrtuning.co. Okay, we have a whole entire section dedicated to the ZH2. And we do offer ECU flash tuning if you're bringing the bike in-house. Anyways, I'm Bill with BLR Tuning, guys. Go check us out. We got tons of DinoJet products, lots of parts and accessories coming. And we are also now TST Industries dealer. So you'll be able to get yourself some taillights, blinkers. So go check us out, blrtuning.co. I catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.